What is going on, PPU fam? Welcome back. And uh, so now we're on the final battle of week one. Invite me, dude. Take off the... The... Don't allow. Alright, there we go. Um, but here we got the Brooklyn Blazikins against the new or the moved Toronto Star Raptors, formerly the Houston Karaka Rockets, formerly the Milwaukee Milotics, formerly the San Francisco Squirtles, and I'm sure I'm missing one. You good. So we see the Star Raptors have Infernape, Scizor, Rotom, Miltank, Jolteon, Milotic, while Brooklyn Bayskins pulled up with Cresselia, uh, Fearothorn, Sharpedo, Zorark, Volcanion, and Weavile. So we got Pop Smoke, the Jolteon against uh, Volcanion. Very good lead by uh, the Star Raptors here. And if you guys have not checked out the previous battles, both of which were very intense and very, very good week one games, be sure to check them out. Uh, anyway, Mr. Clean Rotom Wash comes in on an Earth Power, being immune to that Earth Power at that. So we got a little Volt Switch core going on here. A very good positioning by the Star Raptors, and he could even go Scizor here. Caught in the Vortex. Because now Sciz that allows Scizor to come in and just go for a U-turn now, if it has U-turn. So we got Volt Switch, Volt Switch, U-Turn, possibly U-Turn, and then two walls. That is great. Well, even this is a wall too, but... Why is he not going Scizor yet? I mean, Crest could have HP Fire, but like, if you out, like, if you EV enough to outspeed a Cresselia, which you probably should, there's no need to worry. Uh, trying to see... Uh, the Star Rap Katara comes in. Really? Not even Scizor going for the U turn? Alright. So Fearthorn comes in on this, being immune to that Toxic, and now that allows Fearthorn to set up its hazards. So Iron Man now comes in on a T wave. Okay. Spreading the yellow color. That's pretty big, and can definitely come into play later. All right, Scizor, Iron of Iron Evolves goes for a bug bite, but taking a lot of chip in the process, and I mean a lot of chip. While Fearthorn just healed up, basically, gets paralyzed. Azerox gets set up, and there goes the Leech Seed. Now it goes for a Roost. Okay, goes for a Gyro Ball, doing nothing. And now we see its whole set has been revealed. I really don't know what could. Uh, all right, Volcanion comes in on getting paralyzing, getting some health, just sapped back. Volcanion does pose a threat. Rotom Wash comes in, but it goes for a flamethrower here. Uh, and yeah, now there goes Volcanion. I don't really know the thought process behind that. Volcanion, well, it, it just did not have the best matchup here with uh, very good water types there. And then very good electric types there. Uh, we're going to see who gets brought in here now. And Sharpedo can't clean up yet. Uh, Rotom is still way too healthy. Milotic is still way too healthy. Scizor is still way too healthy. And there's an Infernape, which has access to priority moves such as Vacuum Wave and Mock Punch. Which takes out three of these guys. Sharpedo comes in here. Gonna go for Protect, most likely. As that's what Sharpedos do. Milotic comes in. Goes for that protect. 
Gets the speed boost, but goes for another protect. My Lodic just goes straight for a Dragon Tail. Mega Evolves goes for a Crunch, doing 51, but gets Dragon Tailed out. And there goes Sharpedo's speed boost in the process. Dang. That was kind of harsh. All right, Scizor comes in on what should be... Oh! That is big. He caught him slipping. He caught me slipping too. Anyway, that's revealed to be Zorark. So, uh, Monkey King is here. Gen 6 Fear Learn Cam Learn Flamethrower. <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, there goes the Flamethrower. Life Orb Monkey King we see, and Crest comes in. Zorark play was huge, knocking out that Scizor. U turns out. This is gonna be coming in though. Mr. Clean Monkey King. We haven't seen Mill Tank's name yet. We don't know if the rocks wanna come up. doesn't have like a pure wall breaker that was like what mega scissor was maybe I don't know specs all right Rotom comes in gets toxic in the process which is pretty big that's what the Brooklyn Blazekins need they need to wear down um, star Raptors uh, Mons to try to win with Sharpedo Volt Switch comes out. Moonlight's probably going to be coming out with the uh, Crest. Got to waste those Moonlights if you're the Star Raptors. It's unfortunate that those rocks are there to stay. Just chipping away. Yep, there goes a Moonlight. Now Cresselia is back and healthy. Shadow Ball comes out doing a nasty 35%. Gets a split F drop as he goes for a Calm Mind. Calm Mind Crest can be problematic. Heals up, but I think it was a little, little premature to try to call mine when there's a Milotic with the Dragon Tail. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. As there comes the Milotic, do you go for another Calm Mind? And he's gotta hope to. He toxics the Milotic. Now that is actually a very, very good play. Bringing in Weavile. Now I. That stuff, alright. The Moo comes in, probably on a knockoff, right? Yep, losing its leftovers. And if, uh, I don't know how much the mill tank weighs, but if Weavile does have access to low kick, Furothorn comes in. But is it Furothorn? Or is it Zorark? Ape comes in. I really want to see a psychic. All right, it is Furothorn after all. Uh, Crest comes back in. And while that flamethrower is going to do a little bit, it's the Infernape that's getting chipped away here. U turns out. Dying to Stealth Rock now. So that's... I don't know if U-Turn was the play. All of a sudden, the turns have tabled here. Volt switches out. Yeah, now this is looking very, very good for the Brooklyn Blazikins. Calm Mind comes up. If Rotom doesn't have Toxic, this could be. It looks like it might be the end, guys. It looks like the Brooklyn Blazikins might come out with a W here. Misses the Wisp. Hits the wisp, hit, yeah, hits this wisp. Does this have, uh, who has heal bell? 
not, none of these mods can get it. It was the Moo that went for the heal bell, yep. So the burn will be wearing down Crest here. Hydro Pump's doing very minimal damage. How many Moonlights does he have left? Only half of them. Hits another pump, pump after pump being co uh, connected. But it's gonna be worn down by the pain split there. Lands the toxic. Hits another hydro pump. St and the psychics are coming out now. Ape comes in, drops to the rocks. Jilteon comes in. Gotta go for a crit shadow ball. Does not get the crit. Drops to the uh, psychic. My loaded comes in. Goes for a moonlight here. Does he dragon tail him out? He does get dragon tailed out into Weavile. Weavile goes for a knockoff. Knocking out my Lodic. Moo comes in. Lives. Goes for a body slam. Does he get the para? Does not get the para. And Weavile connects the last knockoff. GG's. Uh, so they sped up that battle. They played really fast in contrast to the other one. It's a 5-0 victory for the Brooklyn Blazekins. Did they get lucky? I mean, yeah, with the para hacks, but that's what happened. And he capitalized on that look uh, with the flamethrower play with the illusion Zorak. That was huge. That was play of the week, probably. Uh, we're going to copy this link. Attempt to open it. You do not get the open. And we're going to drop it here. And I will catch you guys next week. That wraps up week one. So, without further ado, catch you guys next week. I already said that, but yep.